So we're in July of 1915, almost exactly 100 years ago. A large steamship, think of the Flatiron Building on its side. That's virtually the exact size the Eastland was. Flatiron Building turned on its side, quickly capsizes. Though it's tied to its dock, it's still tied to the dock, and yet it capsized. 844 people die within minutes. 844. That's more passengers, more passengers than died on the Titanic, much more famous accident. 22 entire families died on the Eastland. Mothers, aunts, 22 whole family units gone, wiped out in this Chicago River. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Chicago, but the Chicago River is wide and it winds straight through the city. So when the Eastland went over, it was right in downtown. There were commuters, trains going by, and it was only about 19 feet from the shore. This wasn't like way out in the lake where they had to send rescue boats out. This was, you could see, people could see from the street, from bridges, they were looking down at people drowning and they couldn't get to them quickly enough. And I'll explain why a little bit later. <clears throat> 